In this video clip, we'll explain how you can use the Roles page to view and modify roles and their permissions. We will also present a real example for you. Roles are a set of permissions which describe what the owner of the role can do for specific element types and data types, both on the BIM Cloud Manager or in ARCHICAD Teamwork projects. Thus, you can set up generic roles and use them for any content type. Let's open the Roles page. The Navigator List view displays the role root and the roles that it contains. The roles are shown in the List view only. If you select the root, only the Create Role and Import function are available. You can also choose these options by clicking the plus sign. By selecting one of the roles from the list, the Duplicate, Export, and Delete functions will be displayed. In the Settings panel, you can modify the name of the selected role. In the Permissions section, check marks indicate which permissions belong to the role currently selected. Click Edit to modify the fields in any of the sections of Role Settings. Let's see an example of how easily and quickly you can create a new role or modify an existing one. Let's select the Draftsman role. Click Duplicate and enter Render Specialist for the name. The new role is created and selected in the Navigator. Click the Permission Edit button. Permissions are divided into two categories. Click the Category headers to expand or minimize the lists in each one. The checkboxes next to the Category headers show the status of the included elements. These statuses could be Empty. This means no permissions are selected from that category. A black check mark means all permissions are selected from that category, and a gray check mark means only some permissions are selected from that category. You can check or uncheck the column header to add or remove all permissions of a category at once. Let's expand the Tools category and uncheck the Document Tool and Grid Tool elements. Expand the Attributes category and check both Building Material items and then both surfaces to allow for the Render Specialist to modify these ARCHICAD settings. Click the Save button to execute the changes. Let's switch to the user page now and assign this new role to a user. Select a user. Click the Personal Settings Edit button. And from the default role option, choose the newly created Render Specialist role. Click the Save button. Let's go back to the roles page. You can edit the permissions in multiple roles simultaneously. To do this, click the check mark to enter the multi-section mode and select the roles which you want to modify. Let's then click on Edit Permissions at the right. You can extend the panel to see the related roles together. By clicking the permissions checkboxes of the selected roles, they can now be edited side by side. Of course, for multi-selected roles, the role name is not editable. When you've finished, click the Save button to accept the changes and leave the Edit field. 